All right, so today is nappy hair day. We got to do something with this. You have a daughter that likes a rat bun. All they do is try to put it in a bun. And the reason, why is your hair cut, McKenna? Why is it this short? Because I put it in a bun and it went Turned into a big dreadlock. Her hair was down here and we had to cut that dreadlock off of it because all she ever did was a rat bun. And we couldn't get it loose, so. Don't let your daughter do the rat bun. Keep telling her every day, comb your hair out. She ha she has like, um, I don't know, what is it? 4B? I'm horrible at hair. But it's pretty fine. So, um, I don't like to do the box braids because I was gonna do box braids because I learned a new way to do them where you don't start at the bottom. They're like, I think they're called invisible box or something, I don't know. But anyways, the uh, hair actually, um, you know, when you start, ends up breaking the hair. So we're gonna do interlock today and I'm gonna interlock on box braids. So um, but still, it's very fine around the edges. I don't know if you can see this fine as I don't think I can know if I can't zoom it in. But it's very short and fine around the edges here. So that's kind of my concern because when I do the interlock, you have to do the corn rolls going back. So we'll see. I'm going to try and put some gel on there to kind of protect the hair and keep it tight and neat. So that's going to be what we're going to start with. See what happens from there. You nervous? No. It's Why cold. you look scared? Do she look scared? Comment. She looks scared. I don't know why, but she does. See, you can see right in there. It's her hair because it's so fine. It breaks easily, and all she wants to do is pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. And I keep telling her, wearing that same style is gonna break your edges. You need to come different go downward go to the side come forward do something but what do i know right i've only been on the earth for how many 53 years i know nothing so i am going to use just some regular braiding hair to make the corn rolls and then for the um interlock I'm actually using Bobby Boss 10 inch and it's pre-braided braid, box braids. Um, I got two colors actually. I got a black and a black of uh, uh, 1B burgundy and a two actually, it's not really a 1B. Because her hair is actually about a three, a three. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna let you see this, what kind of it looks like. These are curly tips. Um, they are Bobby Boss Bomba Box Braids is what they're called. And I'll show you up front what they look like. So each package probably holds about 20 braids. And I only got four because I don't want her head to be so big and full. But you can see the texture on those. And then the ends are curled so they don't come loose. This is again like the 10 inch. I got the 10 inch because even with the 10 inch, it's gonna probably come mid back on her from the bottom down here when I do the bottom layer. And this is what the picture looks like. And on this model, of course, it's at her shoulders, but on a, on a child, it's gonna come mid back. So it's gonna be plenty long. So these are the Bumba box braids that we're gonna be doing. It comes with, it comes in, you can either do the twist or you can do the, uh, they have a uh, curly one, like a springy one, which is actually the one I wanted, but they didn't have the colors that I wanted. So I went with the box braids instead. And they also have like a dreadlock kinda, so. And they come in different lengths. Again, this is the 10 inch. It comes in, I think, 14 and 18 inch. All right, so we're gonna see that's the black, that's the number two. 
And you see, it looks almost flat, being the number two. And then I did the burgundy. If you hear that snoring, it's my dog. It's not my husband, it's my dog snoring. He's knocked out over there. So here's the red color. And it's you, the tips will look more red than this. This looks kind of a brownish burgundy with red tips. So I'm gonna intermingle and mix these two together. All right. So from the top of her head, the center part will come to here. And from the bottom row, it'll come to about right there. So, all right. portion I go in with the latch hook needle let me show you that so when you go through the braided hair there's a little hook right here so with that I would attach this and then close it so that when it goes back it doesn't snag and it pulls it through and then you kind of do like a lock a, a, You'll see. So if I go in through here, I want to make sure I have the hole. Where is the hole? I can hardly see. Sorry. See, there's a hole in the middle there. That's the hole I want to get. And hook this on there. And then close it. Pull it through. And once I get it through, I want to take this in, close it, pull it through, so that that kind of locks it on there.
under. Look at that. Close it. Pull it through. And go through the hole. Take this hair. Pull it through. And then pull it down. So that it locks on. Basically, that's it. And it's onto the corner. So we're going to do all these. Okay, so I'm starting at the top so it can hide any gaps that I need. So I put it on there. thicker it could be but I don't want a 10 year old to have a big old head like a rag doll or something a raggedy Ann or Shaka Khan so I think it's thick enough I like the colors look down I put the most up here so it wouldn't be too showing too much um, did some baby hairs turn around all the way See, I could use a few more in, well, I got that whole row, but I could have put another braid in there. And definitely the bottom could use some more, but so that it would give it more length, but I think it's good enough. If she she's just gonna wear it down like this, if she wants, she can put it in a pony. 
kind of scrunchy, but hopefully we're over the whole rat bun thing for a while. We'll see. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? You like the color? I do. Yeah. So these braids are about as white as my pinky. These are good size box braids. Alright, so there she is. Thanks for watching.